Hi Kids at Connect. This week in Pure and Clean Part 2, we're kind of discovering, well, what happens if we make a mistake? Let's go see what happens when Dot makes a big mistake. Hey, Tony, we're out of light bulbs. Luke used to order them. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll order some tomorrow. Oh, man, tomorrow's my day off. That's okay. I'll just use a flashlight. Give me a chance to work on my shadow puppets. <laughs> you know, oh, ooh, or better yet, how about you order the bulbs? I'd be happy to. Okay. Well, here. Here is the official Connect HQ credit card. You can hop online and order some bulbs, okay? But just light bulbs, because that's all we need. Loud and clear. Thanks, Dot. I don't want to be late for my mom's birthday party. No problem. Okay. Light bulbs, light bulbs. Light bulbs. Oh, there they are. Easy peasy, lemon squee. Oh. What's that? Plungers are on sale? And so are fishing poles. We need more of both of those. No. Tony said, well, I'll just add these few things. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is the time I made a big, big mistake. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Dot? Look, see? Good as new. Thank you so much for ordering those light bulbs. I really appreciate it. You did a great job. You're welcome. Now I'm just gonna take this back to the observatory. No! You can't go into the observatory. Why? Because it's not safe. It's not safe? Why? Because there are fleas. There's fleas? Yeah. I went in there and now I can't stop itching. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll call Maurice. No! No need! <laughs> Everyone knows that if you just ignore fleas, they go away. That's why they're called fleas. They flee. -z. Oh, okay. Well, you, you learn something new every day, I guess. <laughs> yep. Instead, let's stand here a minute and admire the awesome job you did changing that light bulb. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I, I am delighted on how it turned out. Get it? <laughs> delighted? <laughs> right. <Michael>. Delighted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Take a look at this. I've concocted a mixture that can make anything taste like strawberry. Give it a try. Strawberry water. Delicious, yes? Yes. <laughs> and this one can make anything taste like sweaty gym socks. Well, go ahead. Give it a taste. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> hey, guys. So uh, stay away from the observatory because Dot said that there are fleas in there. But she also said that if we just leave them alone, they'll go away. Hmm. That's not how fleas work. I took a flea research course in college. It was called Flea Search 101. <laughs> I am so glad that you came to Connect HQ today for help with your problem. How can we help you today, Cameron? Well, I work really hard to be a good person, but it seems like I can never be good enough. Hmm, I see. I keep making bad choices, and sometimes 
I feel like the worst kid ever. <laughs> we all make mistakes, Cameron. But I do things even though I know they're wrong. Like, I know it's wrong to fight with my brother, but I still do it. And then I get in trouble. And I feel bad. Like, my heart has dirt on it. Can my heart ever be clean? Will I ever be a good person? Hmm. Well, we can't be good all on our own. You know, we need Jesus to clean our heart and change our spirit. I follow Jesus. That's great. Whenever you ask Jesus to be your Lord and your best friend, well, he changed you from the inside out. He took your heart and made it clean, just like how he did for Paul. Who is Paul? Paul is actually someone that we learn about in the Bible who was completely transformed by God. Uh, here, I can show you. Right up there. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. When you read the Bible, there's a guy that really stands out, a man named Paul. Paul was a missionary who wrote the books of Romans, Galatians, and many others in the Bible. But what's really incredible is Paul's story before he became a follower of Jesus. He was a very different person. His name wasn't even Paul. It was Saul, and he hated anyone who followed Jesus. Saul tried to do what was right by following the old laws, but he believed anyone who followed Jesus was wrong so he chased down Christians and captured them. One day, Saul was given permission to go to a town called Damascus and arrest any followers of Jesus that he found there. But an incredible event happened on the road to Damascus. As Saul got closer to the city, a bright light shone from heaven, blinding him. He dropped to the ground and heard a loud voice coming from the sky. Saul, Saul, why are you out to get me? Who are you? I am Jesus, the one you think is wrong. Get up and go to the city. Then you will be told what you need to do next. Saul got up from the ground, but he was blind. He couldn't see anything. He was led to Damascus by his men, but for three full days, he was blind and didn't eat or drink anything. Now in that city, there was a man who followed Jesus. His name was Ananias. He also heard the voice of Jesus. Ananias, go to the house where Saul is. Place your hands on him so he will be able to see again. Ananias was scared because he knew Saul had a bad reputation. He knew Saul hated Christians like him. But the Lord said, Go, Saul is the man I have chosen to share my good news. So Ananias went to the house where Saul was staying. He put his hands on him prayed for God to restore Saul's sight. Immediately, Saul could see again. He quickly chose to follow Jesus, got baptized, and regained his strength with some food. Saul stayed in that city and began to share God's good news with everyone. People knew he was the man who used to hate God and Christians, but they saw that now he was different. God had transformed him he was no longer the Saul that didn't believe in Jesus. Now he was Paul, who spent the rest of his life serving God. So you see, even though Paul lived according to the laws and he thought he was being good, his heart wasn't pure. That's why he didn't believe in Jesus and he actually wanted to hurt people who did. But then God transformed him. He gave him a new spirit and he lived out the rest of his days serving Jesus. But did Paul make mistakes after God changed him? He did. Nobody on earth is perfect. That's why we can't work harder to be pure. When you say pure, you mean like clean? Yeah. See, you said you felt like your, your heart had dirt on it. Well, Jesus gives us a new pure heart when we follow him. 
But how does he clean it when we mess up after that? You know what? I think I have the perfect person to help you answer that question. Here, come on, follow me. Dot? There's a lot of fleas in here. Help, they're eating me alive! Dot, I know you're in there. How did you know I was in here? You use the same flea excuse when you try to keep me out of here when you plan my big surprise party. You gotta help me, man. Where did all this stuff come from? I messed up so bad. I ordered it when I knew I wasn't supposed to. I shouldn't have tried to hide it. Now I've either got to find a way to hide all of this or hide myself. Well, come out of the box and we'll figure this out. Hey, just asking for a friend. How much does a passport cost? Like, if your friend thought no one would want her around when they found out she messed up, what if that friend just up and moved to Mexico? Of course we still want you around, Dot. But there's no way for me to fix it. I knew it was wrong, and I did it anyway. Well, sometimes we do things that we can't fix. But I know the first step. What is it? I'll tell you. Now let's say this glass represents your heart. And this represents your bad choices. Your sin. Sin darkens your heart. Makes it impure. Now, how can you turn it clear again? Hmm. No matter how hard you try, how good you act, you can't get that sin to go away. So what do you do? I don't know. You can't just throw out your heart and get a new one, can you? What if I told you we can make it clear and pure without pouring out any of it? This represents what Jesus can do for your heart. When you choose to follow him, he can make it clear and new. He makes it pure. <laughs> and you see, after that, if you make a mistake, only his forgiveness can restore your heart. I think I get it. And you know, Professor Malcolm actually showed me a verse that helped me understand this, and so it might help you. It's in the book of Psalms, chapter 51, verse 10. It goes like this. Psalm 51, 10. Psalm 51, 10. God, create a pure heart in me. God, create a pure heart in me. Give me a new spirit that is faithful to you. Give me a new spirit that is faithful in you. You see, Jesus can take a stained heart and make it clean again. Do you think that verse can help you with your situation, Cameron? Definitely. The verse link is Psalm 5110. Verse link acquired. That is so awesome. And <laughs> thank you all for your help. I'm so glad that Jesus can help me in that way. Me too. Just thinking about having to do that all on my own makes me extremely thirsty. <laughs> hey, ooh. Ooh, guys, that was gym sock water. <coughs> <laughs> Not delicious. <laughs> we all mess up, no matter how hard we try to be good. But when we do something wrong, we can ask Jesus for forgiveness. Only he can make our hearts pure again. I already know that, but what I did was really bad. Is this too big of a mistake for Jesus? Absolutely not. His forgiveness can still cover a big mistake like this. Not only does he make our hearts pure, but he also sends the Holy Spirit to help us say no. So if Tony ever trusts me with that credit card again, I won't make the same mistake. I hope not. What's in all these boxes anyways? I'm not even sure. By the end, I was just clicking the buy button without even knowing what I was buying. Well, let's see. Dot, this one is just paper clips. I had no idea paper clips came in so many different colors. Did you? We need to show this to Tony. <sighs> You're right. Thanks for helping me, Harper.
See? Here it is. I told you it was bad. This is a lot of light bulbs. Actually, I ordered other things. Even though you told me not to. And I'm really, really sorry. Well, this is a big mistake, but thank you for telling me. And I accept your apology, Dot. Thank you, Tony. But you are going to have to return all these boxes. Yes! I can do that. And I'm sorry I tried to hide it. I was scared. I thought what I had done was so bad, I would never be able to come back from it. Well, what made you change your mind? Jesus. Harper told me that since I follow Jesus, I can ask for his forgiveness, and he makes me pure again. You know, I was actually having a similar conversation with a walk-in earlier today. I gave him a point that I think will help you too, okay? It goes like this. Get pure. Ask Jesus to forgive you and change you. I like that. Get pure. Ask Jesus to forgive you and change you. Mm -hmm. I was definitely reminded of that today. <laughs> yeah. We... Wait a second. I'm itching. Oh. The fleas! The fleas! We gotta get out of here! Come on, let's go! No, I made that up. There are no fleas. Oh! Whew! Okay, good. Yeah, I was thinking that bug on your shoulder's a lot bigger than a flea. Eee. What is it? What I is it? Get it off of me! Wait, wait, uh, come, uh, come, 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 Hi, it's Tony with Connect HQ. Today we learned some things about staying pure. The Bible says this in the book of Psalms. Here, say it with me, like this. Psalm 51.10 God, create a pure heart in me. Give me a new spirit that is faithful to you. God can change your heart, and there is no time like right now to ask Him to do so. Paul's heart was not pure. He didn't know Jesus and harm those who did. But God changed Paul's heart, giving him a new spirit that wanted to live the rest of his life serving God. No matter how hard you may try to do good things, you still need Jesus to give you a new, clean heart and make you pure, 100% free from your sins. He can do it because Jesus is the Son of God who chose to die on the cross to take the punishment for all of your sins. Jesus forgives your sins, He washes them from your heart, and He fills you with God's pure, Holy Spirit so that you have the power to turn your back on your old sins and desire to live a life that is pure and faithful to God. Get pure. Ask Jesus to forgive you and change you, because only He can make your heart clean. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. took me most of the day, but I think I finally got all of those boxes shipped back. Almost. I found this one hiding out in here. That's so crazy! I could have sworn I had gotten them all. I tell you, if I didn't know any better, I'd say these boxes could move on their own. <laughs> That's okay. I'll get it later. Don't worry about it. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. Bugs. 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 Bugs moving boxes. No, I'm good. That's mm -mm. All of this could have been avoided if someone would invent a light bulb that never burns out. I wonder if they make those. I should tell Edison to invent a new light bulb. All of this could have been avoided if someone would invent a light bulb that never burns out. I wonder if they make those. I should tell Edison to invent a new light bulb. You know, when you ask Jesus to be your Lord, He changes you from the inside out, forgiving your sins and washing them from your heart. Maybe you've never made that decision before. If you'd like for Jesus to change your life and give you a new heart, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that choice today, 
Be sure to talk about it with your Connect small group leader before you leave. So, Dot made a big mistake. She was trusted with the credit card and ordered way too many different things that were not authorized. She knew she shouldn't be doing it, but she did it anyway. Wow, that's the hardest kind of mistake when you you know you shouldn't do it and you do it anyway. And that can really make you then want to hide and to feel shame and guilty. And the unfortunate thing is that never fixes it. When we take the time to confess and apologize, ask for forgiveness and make it right, like Dot had to return all of those boxes, we can then feel good about ourselves But especially, we need to know that we can take our mistakes to Jesus, that he wants us to confess and repent and and ask him to create a pure heart in us. Get pure. Ask Jesus to forgive you and change you. And the really great news is that the Holy Spirit can help us to make better choices. Do we never make a mistake again? Oh, no. Uh, Yeah, we can make mistakes, but we can trust in the Holy Spirit to make those hard choices. So we don't have to make the mistakes. We can listen to that Holy Spirit and stop. Dot almost did, but then she went ahead and made the mistake. We need to listen to the Holy Spirit just because we can ask Jesus for forgiveness does not give us freedom or liberty or license or the ability to just keep on making mistakes over and over and over and over and over and over. There are consequences to that. If you lie and lie and lie, people aren't going to trust you. You can, you know, you can confess, you can forgive, but you got to change your behavior. You need to ask the Holy Spirit to help you to make good choices. Get pure. Ask Jesus to forgive you and to change you. It can be done, but it's really in close relationship with what would Jesus do? What should I do? Lord, help me to make the best choice. And just do that daily. You can do it. See you next week.